Rarely is there a game when both quarterbacks have played this brilliantly. But in this game, they have both been magnificent. I don't think there's any other way to put it. Well, there have been two three and outs, one by each team. That was Virginia Tech's first three and out in this ball game. Not a good time to have that happen. Miami down by three, but they started the Virginia Tech 42. Lamar Miller again. Miller dragging, dragging tacklers with him inside the 20. That was for 23 yards. He's now gained 132 on the day. This is the miss. This is the opportunity right here. You missed the backside chance. You got to get strong and hard. Go hard. Try to find a way to make that tackle. They've got to trip him up and can't let Miller get that kind of momentum going. Certainly in field goal range at the moment. But they're thinking touchdown. Miller. Nice cut again and just tripped up. Kyle Fuller has made five saving tackles in this ballgame. Boy, I tell you, this is a bad sign, though. Not, not, not just because Fuller's having to come up hard. Their, uh, their defensive line has just fallen apart. Well, you talked about how good Miami's offensive line was. This, this series of road grading 300-pounders. They have worn down Virginia Tech as this game has gone along. To Corey Harris. Complete down to the 10. They re need to reach the 9 for a first down. Eddie Whitley with the big hit as Walford makes another catch, his fourth. Last five times the Hurricanes have had the ball. Only the halftime clock has stopped them. Well, and this rushing game, the ground game, going against the Virginia Tech defense that had only given up 58 a game. In the first half, they limited them to three and a half a carry. This half, it's 6.2. They are just getting gashed. Third and one, the bigger James is in as the running back. He's 222 pounds, and he's got the first down at the seven. Nice block by his lead fullback, Maurice Higgins. Well, the, it, it, Jed Fish, the offensive coordinator, has so much confidence in Ja'Cory Harris for him to call that little boot to the throw the ball to the tight end, a high percentage deal. But that just that that shows you he's feeling his quarterback and has confidence in him. Look at the hands on the hips of that defensive line. Oh, Everybody out there. You know? A lot of snaps. And when you're trying to bring down Lamar Miller and Mike James, that's a whole lot of tackling. James stays in. And this should be a flag against Miami. It's going to be two men moving at the same time. The officials have not blown the whistle. Now they throw another flag. And the officials should have stopped that play. Basically, you have four flags down in this play. There are two penalties on the play. Illegal shift on the offense. Two offensive teams moving at the snap. A penalty is declined. Holding number five of the offense is accepted. Ten-yard penalty, first down. Oh, what a killer that is. Absolutely. You know what? That, that you know. This is just where you get down here. You have to be composed. And the defense gets a little bit of a break there. They've got to feed off of that. they got to take advantage of it now. But First Foster down. send them now? No, I, no, because here's why. Lamar Miller's gashing them running. That's so, true. you know, if you do that in the play action, we've seen Corey Harris and Jet Fish not afraid to call the pass. Miller back in there. He's number six. Well, I've been looking at there are nine guys here. There are nine up there. That's mighty close. Almost ten close to the football. Miller stopped at the 15-yard line. Bruce Taylor made the stop. Second team All ACC. Another flag is down. Mm, mm.
after the play. Personal foul, number 77 of the outcome. That's a 15 yard penalty, second down. Personal timeout on Sean Virginia Tech. Henderson. Their first time out of the half. Mike, that's 25 yards in penalties oh. in a couple of plays. Sean Trell Henderson is a great football player, and he took the bait. Virginia Tech poked on him, bumped him, and he hit him in the head. You just got to maintain your composure. That takes all of the momentum away from what your offense had. 25 yards in penalties on the last two plays. 84 yards in penalties for the game on Miami. And now they have to worry about field goal range. They're down by three. We want to welcome the audience that was watching Iowa Penn State. We have a great one here. 310 to go in the ball game. The Hokies of Virginia Tech on top of the Miami Hurricanes, but only by three points. If you just joined us, Miami's last four possessions after being really in check the first half of this game have all been touchdowns, long distance touchdowns. The only thing stopping them on this series has been the two previous penalties accounting for 25 yards in loss. Miller breaks through. Lamar Miller on second and goal from the 30. Holy cow. The big offensive line again. They had this a tight end over there, Joel Figueroa. So they had five big bodies to the right side and just covered up Virginia Tech's defense. Lamar Miller came into this game averaging 129.7 yards a game. He has 166 in this one. 116 of them coming on the last six carries. And this stadium is stunned. Miami virtually left for dead in the first half has roared back to take the lead 35 31 251 to go. I don't think Virginia Tech is done yet. No, they're not. Here's to the pursuit. The pursuit of better. Faster. Cleaner. Funner. Here's to the pursuit of a Pennzoil motor oil so advanced, Elio uses it straight from the bottle in his IndyCar. Here's to the pursuit of another hundred years of earning America's trust. Not just oil, Pennzoil. This has to be as entertaining a ball game as we have seen in years. Both of these teams have fought so hard, made one big play after another. But now Virginia Tech will be called on to make more. They're down by four points, 2.51 to go in the game. Whiteclaw to kick it away for Miami. His last one went out of bounds. Wilson and Gregory to return. Wilson from the two. Plunges straight ahead to the 23. Virginia Tech will start from there. Jed Fish, offensive coordinator, again going with the big bodies. You see the big bodies and the way they're going to kick down and block out. This is total domination against the Virginia Tech de defense that's tired. In this half, 28 plays by Miami, averaging 14.4 per play. They decimated Virginia Tech's defense. 146 yards in the second half for Lamar Miller. And if you're tired, Lamar, Lamar Miller is running the ball for the other team, you're in trouble. But keep in mind, Logan Thomas in this game, 20 of 22 in passing. He's been red hot. Completes this one to Cole up to the 39-yard line. Danny Cole at reliable wideout. No reason for a sense of urgency here. Plenty of time. Make sure you get your play call, get your line ready, and recognize who they're going to block. Yeah, oodles of time. 235 with four timeouts. Good protection again. The pass for the first down and out of bounds goes Marcus Davis. 
Logan Thomas told us he had to avoid happy feet, not see the rush, feel the rush, and be able to look downfield and make the throws. Boy, has he done it today. He's had happy feet, all right. <laughs> now, now, don't forget, in the backfield, David Wilson, a guy who can take it the distance at any moment. So run the ball, plenty of time to sneak a running play in there. 305 yards passing. That is a career high for Logan Thomas. Trying to build his own legend, taking over for Tyrod Taylor. Swings it out in the flat. Wilson got what he could, knocked out of bounds. That's like a swing pass. That's a, I mean, a, a toss sweep. Yeah. That's a good high percentage throw. Getting into the playmaker's hand. David Wilson, like Lamar. One of those guys that can just go the distance every time he touches the football. Absolutely. Well, they came in number seven and number eight in the country in rushing, separated by only two one hundredths of a yard on an average game. Throughout this game, Miami has opted to rush four for the most part. We'll see if they change that up. They have not generated any pressure unless they brought more than that. Wilson, first down and more. Still on his feet, knocked out of bounds inside the 30. There's that run that's going to allow the passing game to continue for Virginia Tech and to prohibit them from having to panic. They've got Wilson just get the ball in his hands. That helps this play action if they come up with it. He has rushed for 121 yards. Put these teams together. We have had 950 yards in total offense against two defenses that have traditionally been very proud. Wilson inside the 25 Denzel Perriman made the tackle. Virginia Tech will use one of its timeouts. They'll have two left. There's still plenty of time on the clock. 142. I like that. You see how Frank Beamer immediately calls timeout with three of them in his pocket, making sure that he gets over, gets his team composed here for the second down call. Has this been the first road game? Didn't go all that well. For those concerned about scoring too quickly, I wouldn't be worried about that. Just get it across the goal line. You got to score. You'd love to score with one second left, but you don't have that choice most of the time. Quarterback keeper Thomas. And they're going to be ripping at that football. Sean Spence led the charge. Did you call a timeout for that? That's not a good call. I mean, David Wilson's your guy. You don't pull the ball from his stomach. You put the ball in four's hands. Obviously, four down territory. Third and three here. Wilson. Struggling forward inside the 20. They have to get to the 18-yard line. Crowd didn't like that call either. Those two, those option reads have not been their big plays today. No, they have not, but they're at least trying to get the first down so that they're going to get the chains moved, gets the timeout, and gives them a breather. So now that forced Beamer to use another timeout. But now you're down to a situation where you've, you've got fourth and one and a half maybe, but it's playing into Logan Thomas's hot hand in this game. Remember, the guy is 23 out of 25 on the day. That's been the hottest, most successful part of this Virginia Tech team today. All right, from what you've seen, are you calling for a pass play on, on fourth and short? No, I think you got to run the ball. You've got to. This is this is a deal to where with David Wilson, you get the first down, and then you get back. You get a new set of downs. You've got to get the first. I would think they would not go back to that read option again. It is it, two plays have produced very little. Miami will be going so hard trying to pursue any kind of counter would be productive. But you've got to have a way if you do the quarterback sneak, and they're not going to do that because he's in the shotgun. Do or die, they have to get to the 18-yard line to keep this drive and the game alive. Thomas, quarterback, keeper. Holy cow, touchdown. Can you believe this? It 
everybody on defense went with David Wilson. And why not? And the quarterback pulls it out and keeps it. Man, oh man. Thirty-seven, thirty-five. the all-important extra point, which makes it a three-point lead because Miami still has time left. 38-35. 56 seconds, all their timeouts left. So that's a lot of time for Ja'Cory Harris. When you watch this replay, it's very important to notice the difference in the success of this play. It started with the mesh of the quarterback and Wilson. Watch how the separation occurs between the two of them. Thomas lets him get further down, which spread the defense out. They lost gap integrity. That's been a problem for this Miami defense this year. Good job blocking by Virginia Tech's offensive line. Big Greg Noso coming around 75, doing his job and opening the hole up in there. But what, and the way this thing's been going, Miami and Ja'Cory Harris have plenty of time. That was a huge hole right up the middle. And that time, that was a great read by the quarterback. It, it was just more patient. Yes. You know what? David Wilson's got to keep going hard because when he goes hard, that opened that defense up. It made him challenge him and chase him to the outside. Just listen to this. never been an overtime game at Lane Stadium. We're staring one in the face right now. Benjamin and Miller are deep. Benjamin on the hop. Got a couple of blocks to the 25, 27, still going. Out of bounds near the 30. 47 seconds to go. But Miami has all their timeouts and the knowledge that they haven't been stopped the entire second half. Five for five on long touchdown drives and even overcame 25 yards of penalties back to back in the red zone on the previous one. So with the big strike ability of running back Lamar Miller, the run is not out of the question. They've been gashing Virginia Tech's defensive line. Miller has gained 166 yards today. But now it's going to be up to Ja'Cory Harris. All day to throw. Can't find anybody. And that's incomplete. Intended for Miller. Good coverage by Taylor, the linebacker. Well, you remember early in this football game, First drive of this game, Al Golden and Miami went down the field, had a fake field goal. Oh, yeah. And it was stopped. This crowd is going crazy. Harris with the out complete to Hearns. It'll be third and short. Mike, here's what we're talking about. First drive of the game. The fake field goal decision. Virginia Tech stopped and turned it away. Virginia Tech then went down the field and picked up seven right away. That's three points. Well, they obviously liked the play call when they made it then, but looking back, wouldn't you love to have the three right now? Now you've got three timeouts. Third and three for Harris. James, first down. That'll stop the clock at the 45 with 25 seconds to go. They burned a lot of time to get that, that first first down on this drive. Yeah, but you call timeout right now because you don't want to waste anything. Every second is pressure. Miami, their first time out of the half. 25 to go. Time. We'll be back in a second. seconds left to go in this game. Can Miami get close enough 
to let Jake Whitehall have a crack at a field goal. They need to get about 22 yards to give him a 50-yard shot. In warm-ups, he was kicking him that far. Timeout. Virginia Tech. Their final Virginia timeout Tech, the I don't think like the way they were lined up against Miami's formation and used one of their timeouts in the last one. Well, you go back and you look at this football game. Miami's offense was going nowhere. Only six touches by Lamar Miller in the first half. To Corey Harris, this long play. It was under heavy review for a long time, ruled to be in, inbounds. He followed that up with a touchdown pass to Hearns right after that. This was the third pass in a row, the bullet to the outside to Travis Benjamin that went the distance. It's been to Corey Harris's arm complimenting, taking advantage of what Lamar Miller has done on the ground. To Corey Harris has been brilliant, so has Miller. Everybody on offense for the Hokies has been terrific. And just remember, this Virginia Tech defense has 23 interceptions in the last 12 games. They're ball hawks. They know how to read quarterback size. The receivers must work extremely hard to fight for a ball in the air. 25 seconds and two timeouts to work with. For Ja'Cory Harris. The red line is where they're trying to get to that would give them a reasonable shot of a field goal. Harris burning a lot of time here being pressured, throws to the sideline and throws it away. Down to 19 seconds. Miami, with their two timeouts, needs to throw something to the middle of the field. The corners at Virginia Tech have been really good for the most part. They went and missed one earlier that cost them, but these are really talented corners. I'd get to the middle of the field. Especially in the hands either of number three, Benjamin, or number six, Miller. Miller's wide, high to the top of the field. Benjamin's in motion. Three-man rush. They'll drop eight. Harris deep down the middle and overthrown. That was intended for touchdown Tommy Streeter, but the ball well overthrown. Now 14 seconds left. That kind of play, though, to the middle of the field, and if you get tackled at the 30, you've got a chance. You call time and Absolutely. you at least give yourself a shot. That's where this play needs to go. And they got two more shots at that play to get that yardage. And with the timeouts, you stop the clock, get your field goal team on. You got a crack at the first overtime game ever at Lane Stadium. Harris up for grabs, incomplete. Right in the arms of Eddie Whitley and Tommy Streeter turned defensive back and knocked it out of his hands at the last moment. Just a smart job of Bud Foster dropping seven in coverage and having a spy in the middle of the field. Now you've got a problem. Yeah. Five seconds left. That, that defensive strategy forced the long ball, which ate up the clock, and now has not given you a chance to catch one over the middle or to get out of bounds and call timeout. Now Miami wants to talk about it. Several of these pass plays in this last possession. The first one took 11 seconds off the clock. 11 seconds have resulted in incompletion. They have not managed the clock very well, but you, you can say that to Ja'Cory Harris, but if he can't find anybody open, he can't find anybody open. Let me tell you what has become open. This crowd, that makes the task of Al Golden and Ja'Cory Harris that much more difficult. You lose a little bit of your composure and your focus and understanding of the down and the distance in the game. At this point now, they've got, they cannot let the ball die inbounds. Look at this. This is just spectacular. These people are losing their mind. This is beautiful.
Virginia Tech has one defender waiting back at the 15 yard line. Harris throws it underneath. Caught by Miller. Trying to stay alive. The clock is at zero and Miller is down. It's over. Alonzo Tweedy made the tackle and Virginia Tech wins. If you like college football and you got to watch this whole game, what else could you conceivably ask for? It's one of the greatest games I ever saw. Frank Beamer has joined us. Frank, just your typical Saturday afternoon at Lane Stadium. Well, I'll tell you what. Miami's awfully good. And uh, I'm so proud of our football team. We just hung in there. Every time uh, they answered, we answered. Our offense, uh, I thought, really answered the call tonight. And really proud of them. Coach, how about the performance of Logan Thomas? 23 of 25, 310 yards and three touchdowns. You needed the trigger man to step up. Yeah, I thought he made some great decisions. And, uh, you know, really came back. Uh, they liked it. You know, I thought he would. He's a poised guy. He's a smart guy. And uh, you want him as the leader of your football team. I'll tell you that right now. Frank, it was such a huge ball game for you and Miami. No team has ever started 0-2 in the conference and gone on to win the ACC. You are still alive, and I thought you proved a lot today. Yeah, you know, we got a couple of defensive guys hurt, and they were kind of mashing us there a little bit. But I agree with you. I thought our football team showed something here. Still alive in the race. You told your team to hold their composure to not panic. I don't think you did, did yeah, you? No, we hung in there till the very end. Frank, I know you've always been a, a defensive coach. A thousand and one yards in total offense someday, huh? Yeah, you know, like I said, we lost. We're missing two defensive linemen, and they just kind of mashed us a little bit there at the end. But, uh, you know, the important thing is to get a win, learn from it, and get better. And that's what we're going to plan to do. Thank you, Frank. We'll see you down the road. Okay, Congratulations. Hey, thank you. Once again, the final score, Virginia Tech 38, Miami 35. Tune in tonight for Saturday Night Football, presented by Southwest Airlines on ABC. Ohio State number 14, Nebraska at 8 Eastern. For Craig James and our entire crew, this is Mike Patrick. Hope you enjoyed it. So long from Blacksburg, Virginia. It's a crucial show.